Ooh, it's one of the longest stories, how I discovered the Mahabharata. We had to recognize what no author was doing at that moment in England, which was writing something bang on the suffering and the questions of this war in Vietnam by our American cousins who are calling on us to come and join them. And so out of that, with a group of collaborators, bit by bit, and with the actors, we evolved. We had nothing, but we gave ourselves a deadline. We said, this is urgent. So with the administration of the RSC, we fixed a date. I think it was about two months later. And we got a band of actors together. Then one of our basic techniques was every time at the lunch break during rehearsal, we would invite in different people to come and give their experience of the Vietnam War. One day, a young Indian came in, and he came just to say, I just don't have any direct experience for you, but I'd like to give you a little play I've just written. It's only five pages, so you'll read it very easily, and it's just about the scene in the Mahabharata when on the battlefield Arjuna sees in front of him all the rest of the family that he is now going to make war against. And he stops and says to Krishna, the god, why should I fight? And while I was in Paris, I started talking to friends, and one of them said, there's somebody you must meet here. He's a most marvelous scholar, and he's the greatest expert in France on the whole of Indian Hindu culture. And I thought I must meet him. His name is Philippe Lavastine, and I went to meet this man in a little apartment on the left bank, surrounded by books, 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 everywhere. I said, this is so astonishing, I must understand it. Tell me the story. And then it was 10 years of work. And out of that came, so that's a short answer to your short question, what brought me to the Mahabharata.